Good evening. I'm Frankie Fort filling in for Jeremy Spaz. And I'm Faye Fickle filling in for Autumn Winters. You're watching Ohioville 9 Nightly News. And these are tonight's top stories. First up, the Ohioville 9 studios have moved to a brand new location right in the heart of downtown Ohioville. Um, is that really a top story, Faye? Of course it is! If there's one thing you learn from watching television, it's that media and entertainment news is really the most important news. Except for violence. Violence is more important. <laughs> I just don't think the new studios are that much nicer. Are you serious? Our old studios looked like a prison basement. This is a big upgrade. I guess I just don't remember. Next up, it's a new year! That's right! 2022 has finally ended, passing the baton to a fresh new year. The year 2022 was notable for many reasons. Record inflation, the beginning of Russia's prolonged war with Ukraine, escalating tensions between Ohioville and China, Iran, North Korea, and almost everyone else an unusually high number of prominent deaths, global unrest, exotic diseases, and more! <laughs> yes, given the many unspeakable crimes that 2022 foisted upon the world, Congress convened a special committee to investigate the events of 2022 and hold the relevant parties responsible. Unfortunately, 2022 has defied the subpoena and been held in contempt of Congress. Since New Year's Day, nobody has seen 2022. I don't blame it. I would be in hiding, too. Well, let's hope 2023 does better. In sports news, too bad for fans of the World Cup, as the Ohioville national team was eliminated from the tournament in the round of 16. The game, which was played against the Netherlands, ended with a score of 3-1. to one. The Ohioville team did their best, but they just couldn't hold their own against the freakishly tall Dutch. On several occasions, with the ball flying through the air, the Netherlands team was able to win the header without even jumping. It's disappointing that the Ohioville team was eliminated from the tournament so early, given our vastly superior knowledge of the game. Why is that, Frankie? After all, we're the only ones who know the sport by its true name, soccer. Yes, you would think with our expertise, it would be easier to dominate soccer on the world stage. Oh well, maybe next time. In a move which has sparked protests and international attention, Ohioville's Board of Supervisors has voted to allow the Ohioville Police Department to move forward with a plan to equip their police robots with lethal force. The police chief reassured the public, clarifying that while lethal force sounds bad, they currently have no intention of adding firearms to police robots. Woo! Instead, the plan is to simply outfit those robots with explosives so they can surreptitiously approach the subject from behind and detonate them into a wet cloud of neutralized threat. That seems normal. I was worried for a minute that we were talking about some dystopian science fiction nightmare. <laughs> and now for our most profitable segment, New Things to Fear. It's that time of year again, and the clown sightings have already started. It's only January, and five separate incidents involving clowns have been reported and independently confirmed by the Ohioville 9 news team. In the past week, clowns have been spotted lurking in the shadows at the edge of the forest, pawing at the windows of unsuspecting homeowners, and even rummaging through dumpsters behind restaurants. Normally, clowns are harmless if unprovoked. However, as the winter months get colder, they can be driven from hiding in search of food and warmth. If you encounter a clown, do not make eye contact. Do not turn your back to it. Above all, do not startle or challenge it. Call for help, but don't make any noise. Soon it will be spring again, and we will be able to drive the clowns back to where they belong, deep into the hills and forests, far away from society. Until then, be very afraid. And now it's time for Adorable Adoptable Animals. As you all know, Ohioville Animal Shelter is a charity that cares for animals that need a home. Let's take a look at some pictures they've sent over. Will you adopt an adorable animal today? First, we have this pet labeled Stick Horse. 
And I'm assuming that it's like a stick bug? Uh, something doesn't look quite right with this fella. Maybe he's the tragic result of some experiment. <laughs> All the more reason to adopt him today. <laughs> now look at this little cutie. Fancy that. Ohioville Animal Shelter is expanding into new creatures. Is it even lawful for them to peddle human children? Uh, I think the adoptable part of this photo is the badger-looking thing underneath the child. That's nice. It's even trained for use as a light-duty vehicle. Well, I hope it's an electric vehicle. We don't need to be endorsing fossil fuels on this program. Now, this exotic pet comes with a warning label. How exciting! This wallaby is homeless because his first owner perished. Pictured here, from a time before her perishing, she made the critical error of training her wallaby to crave human flesh. It started with a finger here, a finger there, and things just got out of control. Can you retrain him to hunger for something other than murder? If not, maybe you can harness his hunger to feast on your enemies. That's it for our show. You've been watching Ohioville 9 Nightly News. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful night! If we do any like tap dancing, tap dancing or like... Are you saying we can't tap dance anymore? Maybe we should so, go to the mall after this? I don't know about that. I you don't like malls and I don't like you. <laughs> so let's not do that. It looks like a basement, prison, bad, 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 bad. To a new year! Fresh frickin' New Year! 2022 has defied the and been held in contempt of Congress. Since New Year's Day, nobody has seen 2022. So I said New Year's Day. Yes, you did. But they just couldn't there. Not really lining up clips, you're just cutting from one clip to another. Lining up the clip with the audio. We haven't clapped at all we haven't this time. at all. It's just... You'll be fine. I believe you. As you know, animal <laughs> shelter. We back that up. We have this pet labeled. Dang it! <laughs> Look, you have a computer right there. <laughs> Your mom's computer is right here. Oh.